If you clicked on this video, chances are you're grappling with a nagging concern. Have you become too attached to someone? Although attachment plays an important role in our ability to connect with others, it's important to understand that it's not the same as love. Clinical psychologist, Dr. Alexander Dragici defines emotional attachment as a feeling of closeness that helps sustain relationships over time. And if your attachment is healthy and meaningful, it will gradually become love. There is, however, a thin line between healthy and unhealthy emotional attachment. And being too attached to someone certainly falls in the latter, says clinical social worker, Sasha Jackson. With that said, here are six psychology-backed warning signs that you're overly attached to someone. Over-idealizing. You often fantasize about a future together after just meeting them or find yourself romanticizing everything they do. This behavior is known as idealization. And according to clinical psychologist, Dr. Crystalline Salters Pednol, it's a maladaptive way of coping with an anxious or unhealthy attachment towards someone. And this is problematic because not only are you burdening this person with unrealistic expectations they can't possibly live up to, you may also be ignoring or excusing their red flags and choosing to only see what you want to see. Avoiding being alone. Another telltale sign of overattachment is the tendency to seek out relationships just to avoid being alone, says clinical social worker, Sasha Jackson. So if you often jump from one partner to another because you don't know how to be single, it's an indication of a red flag that warrants attention because this increases the likelihood of you staying in unfulfilling or unhealthy relationships simply out of a fear of abandonment and a need for external validation. Which brings us to our next point, constant validation. Relying on another person for their approval and needing their constant reassurance is considered a manifestation of unhealthy overattachment, according to therapist Dr. Jennifer Littner and mental health journalist Crystal Raypole. Seeking constant validation and defining your self-worth solely through your relationship can be detrimental as it can erode your self-esteem, make you susceptible to manipulation, prevent you from expressing disagreement, and leave you emotionally unstable. Weak sense of self. Ray Pohl and Dr. Littner go on to explain how this can manifest as changing one's habits, interests, behaviors, and goals to align more with theirs. Spending more time with their friends and family over your own, abandoning your own boundaries and personal needs for them, and committing all of your time, energy, and resources to the relationship. Inability to function. According to psychologist Dr. Constantine Lucan, when you're overly attached to someone, you're constantly thinking and talking about them. You need to be in constant communication with them because you feel anxious or worried when you're not. And when they're not around, you don't know what to do with yourself. You feel incomplete without them. Although it may sound romantic to some, taken to an extreme, it can be destructive to your sense of autonomy, independence, and overall sense of self. Unbalanced dynamics. Dr. Lucan further explains that having unbalanced power dynamics in a relationship is a sign of an unhealthy emotional attachment because when one person takes much more than they give, be it time, effort, consideration, or attention, it can cause problems like codependency and emotional burnout. Examples of unbalanced dynamics can include giving more support than you're getting, constantly putting their needs before your own, having to fix their problems for them, spending more time attending to their emotional needs over your own, and not having time for personal interests, hobbies, or other relationships anymore. So, what are your thoughts on these signs? Do you see any of them in yourself or resonate with what we've talked about? Let us know in the comments below. Recognizing unhealthy attachment behaviors in ourselves is the first step towards healing and positive change. So even if you answered yes, don't get too down on yourself about it. Take this as an invitation to look inside of yourself and reflect on your underlying needs and beliefs about yourself and your relationships and how they may manifest as unhealthy attachment behaviors. And you don't have to go through it alone. There are mental health professionals who can help you do this and support you in finding and cultivating healthy relationships. Till next time, Psych2Goers. And remember, you matter. Are you looking for a cuddly companion that brings positivity and mental wellness to your daily life? Get your very own sigh. The lovable plushie is here to brighten your days. It embodies the spirit of Psych2Go and it serves as a reminder to prioritize your mental well-being. Its green leaf symbolizes growth, renewal, and the importance of self-care, whether it's for yourself or as a thoughtful gift for a loved one. Sai is ready to be your snuggly friend through all of life's ups and downs. Buy your Sai plushie today.
Link is listed in the description box.